Hi boys and girls. Our second saint this week is Saint Mary Magdalene. Saint Mary Magdalene was a follower of Jesus, a disciple of Jesus when he walked this earth. So she's mentioned in the Gospels several times. Often she's mentioned with a couple of other women. So this tells us something about her, that she is good at being a friend and that she is good at loving those around her. So she's mentioned also at the foot of the cross that when Jesus was dying on the cross, Mary, Jesus's mother was there, but also Mary Magdalene stayed there with Jesus and stayed there with his mother. So this teaches us to stay with people and to love people even in their difficult moments, even when it's hard, even when they're going through something difficult, um, to really love them in that and to allow ourselves to help ease their suffering, right? And not to run away from their suffering, but to help them in whatever way we can, even if it's just staying with them and loving them well in their hard times. And then Mary Magdalene is mentioned on the morning of the resurrection when Jesus rose from the dead. That morning, Mary Magdalene had gone to the tomb. She was just probably going to pray and sometimes how we visit cemeteries, right? She was going to um, just go where Jesus had been buried. But when she got there, she saw something very strange. The stone wasn't in front of the tomb where they had left it. So she runs and she tells the other disciples, she tells Peter and John that the stone is rolled away from Jesus's tomb and she doesn't know what's going on. So Peter and John come with Mary Magdalene back to the tomb and those two men go into the tomb and they see that it is empty. So they run back to the other disciples and then Mary is outside the tomb by herself. This is Mary Magdalene still. She's outside the tomb and she's weeping and as she cried there, she looked into the tomb and she saw two angels standing inside of there. And they ask her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken my Lord and I don't know where they laid him. So she misses Jesus, right? We see that she had such a good friendship with him that she now misses him that he's gone. She doesn't know where he's at. And these angels all of a sudden disappear and Jesus is standing there behind her but she doesn't recognize him yet. She's still crying and Jesus says, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and said in Hebrew, Rabbani, which means teacher. So we see that Mary recognizes Jesus as soon as he says her name. This is similar to maybe you know the way your parents say your name or you know the way that your best friend says your name. She had heard Jesus say her name so many times that she recognizes him even just in that. So we see that Jesus and Mary Magdalene had a very beautiful friendship and that Mary was willing to follow Jesus through anything. So after the resurrection and after seeing Jesus alive, Mary runs to the other disciples and she tells the other disciples that Jesus is alive and that she has seen him. So Mary Magdalene is sometimes called the apostle to the apostles because she preached the resurrection to the other apostles that Jesus is alive. So this is a great example for us that we can preach to others that Jesus is risen. We can tell others what he's done in our lives, but that all starts with being friends with him, with loving him well, and with knowing how he speaks to us, with going to prayer and learning to recognize his voice. So take some time for prayer this week, as I said in the video about St. Andrew, and pray with that part about the resurrection. Pray with where Mary Magdalene was sitting maybe, and picture yourself sitting in that garden on the, mo on the morning of the resurrection with her. All right, have a great week. Bye guys.